All right, boys and girls, thanks for coming back by the channel today. We're gonna be doing something nice, easy, quick little modification. Not always the cheapest thing, but you know, when we're doing these big, bad custom trucks, what's always cheap? What I'm talking today is tail lights. We're gonna be doing tail lights and a third brake light as well. I got from a really awesome company. I'll be telling you guys about it and showing you the difference between the factory ones that I have on here, even with LEDs in them, and custom LED tail lights. All right, so sitting here factory, this is what we're working with. Let's go with the running lights first. There's our running lights. You got brake lights. All right, backup lights. Of course, those are LEDs, so they're bright as shit already, but there they are. All right, turn those off. And then let's try our uh, cab light. Yeah. Not really impressive. So if you guys have been looking for tail lights, a lot of the manufacturers that come out with these things are just trying to throw out, you know, a bunch of different numbers, letters, lumens, this and that, whatever. A lot of it is design that you guys like, and that's, you know, kind of what I went off of, but I also wanted a really good quality LED functioning tail light and third brake light assembly. If you guys have looked through, you know, they've just bombarded you with thousands and thousands of different kinds. Plus, my uncle's brother, Kenny, he does, like, all these custom taillight assemblies, you know, spray paint the inside, yeah, whatever. You know, I want something that's quality, something that's got a warranty to it. LED function, and it's not going to make my turn signal, you know, flash fast, so it's got to have the correct modules that go along with it. So, let's see what I picked out. I ended up going with a set from Recon. They're a little bit pricey. You know, you guys can check them out. They run sales every once in a while, but you're gonna be running in the area of like 200, 250 bucks for a set of good tail lights. So here's the ones I ended up getting. They are a smoked outer design. They've got the LED all built in up here. I, you have to use your existing um, reverse light, which I have an LED bulb for that. LEDs for the running. So, and it has the C channel running lights that our LEDs build into that as well. So, we'll get that one put on, and then my third brake light I ended up getting also from Recon. The third brake light right here, I ended up not going with a smoked lens, I went with a clear lens, but a black background, or the black inside portion to it. It's all LED as well. You've got five LEDs on each side as well as four really bright LEDs in the center section as well. So I think these are gonna be pretty badass. And let's get these put in. They're super easy to install. And uh, all it takes is two Phillips screws to get your existing tail lights out if you guys don't already know that. You probably should, but that's all it takes to get them out. I'll get the tail lights swapped out real quick. Your hands covered in spiders, by the way. Yeah. Oh, shit. It is a legit fucking crusty ass spider's nest. <laughs> <laughs> So each of your lights here, the inputs are going to plug into the existing light bulb areas inside your sockets. Plug in right there. 
and then you're gonna reuse your little marker lamp bulb and your tiny little um, reverse or your reverse light bulb, which I would recommend you got an LED one also. And before you even move on, make sure you put dielectric grease in here. Just fill them things full, because yes, these you know kind of are in your fenders, but that is not mean it is weather sealed. Here we've got it installed and one thing I do want to be able to point out to you guys to make sure is there is instructions in here with this. Make sure you follow the instructions. When you go to plug the little plugs into the light housings, into the little plugs, they do matter which way you plug it in. If you plug it in wrong, you're going to blow a fuse. I did it. I cut it out. Yeah, I know. Everybody laughed at the mechanic, but you know what? I make mistakes too get excited, start plugging stuff into the wrong hole. That might have been what she said, but you know. All right, let's try these out. Let's try the running lights. There we go. Let's do some brake light. Turn signal. And reverse. There we go. All right, now let's back up and do a comparison because I still have the left side in. Turn your reverse off and adjust the running light so you can see the difference. That one to the factory one. And let's try to turn our uh, hazards. Hazards to the factory. And it would be there for that one, which is a turn signal. And the brake light. Factory one. Off. On. And the aftermarket one off. On. So in general, I do really like that smoked lens look to it. it looks really clean and crisp. It fits real well. Hardware works. So. I'll get the other side put in and we'll see what the whole finished product looks like. All right, guys, well, that was a real quick, easy little list of modifications here for the truck. We got the tail lights in, we got the third brake light in. Everything was pretty simple and easy. Make sure you follow those quick, easy little steps that come with the instructions. Follow those real blow fuses, like I did. One other cool thing that I wanted to bring up to you guys was something that everyone had been asking me for the last couple of months. When are you gonna come out with stickers? or magnets or some kind of fanfare memorabilia or whatever. So I decided to come out with some vinyls. So I came out with these couple of ideas. We got this one is my Rust Belt Mechanic. Got that one in six and a half by six and a half, right around that size. So I'm gonna be running these on a Facebook uh, for sale page. I'll have those 
And then I'll also have this other one that I'm going to put the picture right now. Each of those will be for sale over on my Facebook page. They're going to be 10 bucks a piece and every single dollar that you guys give is going to go right back into the channel. I'm going to go towards paying for better cameras, better equipment, better parts, better tools, better everything that you guys are going to really enjoy and love from here on out. That's for sure. So cruise on over there. I'll leave the link in the description and I'll leave a little card up here for it. And hopefully you guys enjoy these vinyls and grab the set for yourself. Thanks again for tuning in today, guys. I really appreciate all the help and support you've given me. I'm just clearing almost 3,500 subscribers now, which I didn't think I was ever gonna get there, but we have, and we've got tons and tons of more awesome content coming out for you guys very shortly. Stay tuned in for that one. Turn on your little bell notification so you get notified of that. Make sure to check me out over on Instagram and Facebook at The Rust Belt Mechanic. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. Appreciate it. You guys stay awesome.